drive vehicles over here. How many of us fear driving vehicles? <laughs> <laughs> so, for everyone's knowledge, the fear of driving is known as vehophobia. And I suffered from this phobia for quite a long time. Today, I'm going to tell you about one of the most embarrassing moments of my life, which was the first driving lesson, first car driving lesson. So, Madam President, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests, a very good evening to all of you. It was summer of 2014 and I had come back home for my vacations. It had been quite some time since my father had been insisting on me to enroll in some driving class. But, till then, I was successful in avoiding and ignoring him. But, the dreadful day came. It was Sunday morning and my father was at home. Come on, Surbi, let's go for a drive, he said. Come on, Surbi, let's go for a drive, he said. I was so happy. I thought he might take us to Lanavala, maybe. I quickly packed my things and I headed towards the car. As I approached the car, my father got out of the driving seat and said, I'm not driving, you are. This was the end of my happiness. Initially, I thought he was joking around. So, I looked at him with a smile and I went and I opened the back seat door. But then, <coughs> he gave me this annoyed look and I had to close the door. Scared of both my father and the car, I somehow hesitatingly took the driver's seat. As I sat in the driver's seat, my feet were not even able to press the clutch fully. And that's not because I was scared. That was because of my height. Well, the seat was adjusted according to my father's height. He is 5'10 and I am 5'2. Now you can imagine what would, have, what would be happening when these short legs tried to press the pedal. So anyways, I adjusted the lever and adjusted the seat according to my height. Till then my father came and he sat in the seat beside me. I looked at him again with this puppy face. Papa, it's okay, you drive this time, I'll take notes this time, so you see. Observation is very necessary for success. He looks at me and he, and he shouts. So we shut up and drive. <laughs> Almost there, Papa, I said. And I turned, I turned the engine on. Now, thankfully, the car was, the gear was in neutral position and the hand, uh, handbrake was pulled. Or else there would have been a big hole in the wall of our parking car. Then my father went on to tell me about the clutch, the gear, the brake, the accelerator. Then he said, it's clutch, brake, accelerator. Remember, clutch, brake, accelerator. Don't mess up brake and accelerator. Got it, Papa? Clutch, brake, accelerator. I said, frankly, those th memorizing those three words was way more difficult than memorizing the whole biochemistry book, which is of 2,000 pages. <laughs> so, I switched on to the reverse care and slowly, it took me 10 minutes, but slowly, I got the car out of the parking lot. Phew, I thought that was a difficult task. I switched to the first gear and then I left the brake, oh sorry, the gear abruptly. The car start, stopped with a big jerk. It hadn't even moved a meter and yet it stopped. I looked at my father puzzled, but then he said, turn on the engine again. You know, leave the uh, gear carefully. Oh sorry, the clutch carefully. So, this time, I left the uh, clutch slowly and the car started moving. I was so happy. But this happiness lasted just for seconds until the car was out of my control and my father was pulling the steering towards the side of the, to bring the car towards the side of the road. And he was shouting, brake, 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 brake. And I awfully pressed the brake and it was again another big joke. Now, my father and I, we both took a deep breath my father grabbed the, grabbed the water bottle from behind, took two sips of water, <laughs> and then he calmly said, start the engine again. I was speechless. How can he tell me to drive after what just happened? But then looking at my father and knowing his anger, I knew that there was no other option. So I switched on the engine, and then I slowly left the clutch, and but my right leg was right beside the brake, so that we do not damage our property or anyone else's property in the way. So, we, I, um, after some seconds, my father said, Surbhi, accelerate. He might have said it once, but his voice echoed in my uh, mind. Accelerate, accelerate, accelerate. He snapped me out of my zone. 
and said, Survi, come to your senses. Step on the pedal right now. Okay, Papa, I said and I stepped on the accelerator. And the next thing I remember was my father again grabbing the steering from the side and uh, shouting, break, 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 break. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, what do I do? And our car landed into huge potholes in great speed. I somehow managed to get the, bring down the speed of the car. And then I got the car out of the potholes to the side of the road. I could literally hear the squeaking sound of the car. I was so embarrassed, I couldn't even look at my father. <laughs> so <laughs> he took another deep breath, very deep breath. And then he grabbed the bottle, he drank the whole bottle. And then he said, should we start the car again? We need to go back home. This time I was in tears. I was like, Papa, how can you tell me to drive, Papa? J just after what happened, I'm so sorry, I'm so embarrassed, I can't even look at you. On listening to, the, listening to me whine and cry, my father said, Sulmi, I will be disappointed in you the day you decide to quit driving and quit this, uh, this difficulty. This one sentence gave me hope. And to be frank, the fear reduced. I drove the car back, though at a very slow speed, I drove the car back to the home and I didn't quit learning after that. Now I'm comfortable driving the four wheeler anywhere, be it the city streets or be it the expressway. I'm extremely blessed to have a father who did not give up on me when it was hard. And I'm proud of myself to over who has overcome one of my biggest difficult, uh, fears and difficulties. So um, I hope that this attitude sticks with me throughout my life. Thank you.